Hello world, welcome back to Razer RC. It's time to do a review of a new product uh, that got sent to me by this company. I think it's pronounced Malibet, Malibe, something like that, not totally sure. Uh, but they reached out to me and asked if I was interested in reviewing this product, the Alpha 12 Smart Discharger. So I've done a lot of reviews of chargers and someone asked if I could review some dischargers. So uh, this is for you. Sorry, I forget who that was, but uh, this is what you asked for, and that's what you're going to get as a discharger review. So we're going to do a little unboxing first. This is a smart discharger, balances, works on light bows, uh, does not require an external power source except for the battery, of course, and an auto power cutoff. Nice. Specifications it's a 120 watt discharger. Input voltage is between 6 and 27 volts, so that'll cover 2 to 6 S batteries. LiPo only and weighs 515 grams. So uh, actually super nice packaging. This is a high quality box and nice colors and even sort of this fade blue out uh, little thing on the uh, front there. So uh, very nice packaging. From what I've seen, this is actually a pretty high quality discharger. So we're gonna take a look. Uh, this is a little manual. Tells you what to do, how it works, quick start guide on the back. Uh, some questions and answers. So hopefully this is fairly easy to work on or work with. A little foam packaging, um, really nice box. And here's a little discharger. So this is actually um, a little smaller than I thought it was going to be. It's not small, but it's uh, you know about the size of a baseball or softball, I guess. Um, yeah, so here's the cover. Looks like a little screen cover. Let's take one back. This sticker helps to remove the mask from. Okay, so a little cover. Uh, just sort of a steel or aluminum. Sort of a cast steel or cast aluminum. Fairly heavy. Giant fan on one side, and then I guess an inlet on the other side. So you can see the 6S uh, balance leads there and then an XT60 input connector so just very simple looking product and um, yeah let's show you how it works okay we've got everything all wired up I'm going to show you how this thing actually works so I had to provide my own cables because uh, none come in the box got an XT60 female adapter connected up to an EC5 and then some direct uh, bullet plugs that are going to go into my battery here and then a balance board of course so how this works is you just plug everything in including the balance port there and then there's a little start stop button just turn that thing on and it'll show you what you've got so this is a fully charged battery it's at 8.37 volts a two cell lipo one cells at 4.18 volts and the second cell at 4.18 volts and then you just go ahead and turn it on. Hold down the start stop button, let go, and then it starts discharging. So it's got a fan on the side that basically will blow air through it. Exhaust air will come out the right side. Um, it kicks in once uh, it gets hot enough. So on a 2S LiPo, it seems to get up to about 108 degrees Fahrenheit, 108. Uh, warm but not like excessively hot and so obviously what it's doing is converting the energy stored in this battery into heat and dissipating heat so it does uh, get reasonably hot but not crazy hot and will blow air out now I do think it's actually probably a better idea to run it on its side like this because what happens is it's got a bunch of heat sinks inside and will blow air out and since heat rises of course the heat will tend to go to the top if you have it this way, it'll tend to kind of get the display really hot. And if you do it this way, the other way, it will, I think, keep that a little cooler, maybe last a little bit longer. So, uh, so yeah, on a 2S LiPo, it discharges at about 8 amps. Um, so pretty fast discharging. If you do the math, on a 5,000 milliamp battery, you're going to discharge about half of that. So it's going to discharge down to about 2,500 milliamp hours which will take about 20 minutes or so, um, give or take, uh, depending on how low it actually gets. So it discharges down to seven, I'm sorry, 3.8 to 3.85 uh, volts per cell. 
So on a 2S LiPo, that's going to be about 7.6, 7.7 volts. Um, so it is LiPo only. Uh, you could run it on lithium high voltage, although it'll discharge it a little bit more than optimal, but I think it's uh, okay for that. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. Uh, so my thoughts on this chart discharger. Uh, it's the first discharger I've had. Uh, I, I like it. I think it's really high build quality. You got a nice backlit display. Uh, it's very simple. There's really no options or anything to change anything on the discharger. So you just kind of plug it in, run it, and then it discharges for you. It auto shuts off so you can just kind of like let it go. You obviously always want to be around the discharger uh, monitoring it just in case because uh, this is one of the dangerous times of using lipos charging and discharging is you know obviously when it's going to be the most uh, risk so you always want to be around and watching it just in case but yeah it seems like a pretty nice cool feature overall uh, downsides um, I think it's a little bit pricey it's $70 which is about average for a discharger so there's some ch cheaper some more expensive um, this is a high build quality but you know realistically um, you got to be a little bit more of a serious hobbyist to buy something like this uh, most chargers have a discharge uh, option included although they discharge really low rates at like five watts or maybe even one amp at the most so um, this is definitely useful to me because I sometimes go out there with a couple of batteries my car breaks and then I've got like two full ch fully charged batteries I don't know what to do with so uh, this is handy so when I get back home I can just basically just discharge it on um, and then get those back down to storage uh, level. So anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the add notifications button, and look for more videos soon.